Well, good morning. Today's a big day. We're going to work on two outdoor seed starting racks for our outdoor seed starting area. Last week we worked on the storage box and today we're doing the final piece of, um, of this uh, outdoor seed starting area. And I'm really looking forward to these two racks here because that allows me to get started for my fall planting really a big milestone here we've been um, <clears throat> working very hard just to get ready to finally grow something and by completing these two racks that gives us the ability to actually start growing something so we'll be right back after the break and we'll talk about our brand new seed racks <music> This video is a build seed starting racks outdoor seed starting area number 405. Well welcome back. It's a big day here we're going to work on our seed starting racks for our outdoor seed starting area and uh, that's a very exciting milestone here because we can actually start to grow something here on the homestead. Boy has it been a heck of a journey. Um, it's taken us almost two years to get to this point. But, uh, you know, good things come to those who wait. And uh, I would, I've taken my time and worked very hard to get the, the garden complex set up to where when it does finally uh, start to grow things, everything's in place and I'm not, you know, reacting. I'm going to be proactive instead of reactive. So I've proactively established everything in the garden that I need to at least get started. And today we're going to be putting in our... Um, outdoor seed starting racks. I got a little sketch here that we can look at and uh, so we'll see what the plan of the day is. But uh, let me explain just a little bit about an outdoor seed starting rack. A lot of people go, oh no, you need a, a, um, a greenhouse or you need to start them inside. And uh, you know, those are ideal conditions and that, that's great to do. But uh, Nancy doesn't want any more seed starting going on in the house. I burned her out on that when we lived in Virginia. So that's out and uh, in you know in florida when i'm trying to start seeds for um the fall vegetables the time that for me to start that is in august and wow it's pretty hot in august for a greenhouse so what i i like to do and i've done this in virginia with great success is um i built these outdoor seed racks and it's good and hot it's not below 70 degrees at night so that's okay that's the the temperature i'm looking for it's above 70 degrees and i can start my seeds in a seed rack outside as long as i um, control the amount of sunlight that they're getting and i protect them from rain because if i get direct rain on my uh, little seeds and my little um you know my little starter trays it just floods them and washes them out and ruins them so what you have to do is uh, protect them from the sun and you have to protect them from the rain and I can do that very easily in this rack using shade cloth and putting a roof over it to where I repel the rain and uh, I can protect them from flood so this is a great way to do seed starting in the fall and the, in the springtime. It's too cold out there to use this. I have to have a greenhouse to start them because I start my seeds for uh, here in Florida for my spring vegetables. I start them in January, believe it or not. So I'm going to build an, a greenhouse to go in to work in a concert with this uh, uh, outdoor seed starting rack for the spring vegetables. But for the fall vegetables, use the outdoor rack for the greenhouse. That's what I use for the spring vegetables. Did I say that backwards? <laughs> fall vegetables, outdoor seed rack, spring vegetables, greenhouse. We'll be getting to that greenhouse here very soon. We'll, uh, I haven't actually started construction on that, but it's getting here. It's, it's coming up close. So th there's been so much to build around here that I have done nothing but build and clear land since we've moved here and uh it's it's been a lot of work I, I hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this journey it takes a lot to get a homestead started from the ground up don't it so anyway 
Let's step on up here and uh, we'll take a look at our little uh, sketches so we can see what we're going to be doing today because you may want to build one of these for yourself. So step on up and let's take a look at it together. Okay, here's our little sketch that we were uh, going to be working to today for our, our outdoor sea starting racks. Here's a um, front view of the unit right here. And then I took a section AA right through here to look down on this main frame here. This is section AA right here. Then I took a, a section right here looking at the left side of it, which is right over here. Section CC is right here. So here is a front view and a left view. And here's a cut looking through uh, just below the roof at the, um, the main frame of the unit, section AA, which is right up here. Okay, so the overall length of this thing and the overall size of this unit is a seven foot nine long and about 33 inches wide and it's about seven feet tall on the front and six foot six tall on the back so I get that slope so I get the runoff from rain that I'm, that I'm going to be needing because I don't want to flood my sea trays. Okay, the, the unit is going to have four by four legs. All the lumber on here is for all pressure treated lumber. <clears throat> and um, the four legs are uh, four by fours. And then we're gonna build the main frame right here out of pressure treated two by twos. We're gonna put a, a shelf right here at 20 inches above the, the grade level and another one at 48 inches above the grade level. Those are very comfortable positions to work in. The um, the roof, I mean, the uh, the shelf here is going to be covered right here and right here with a uh, hardware cloth, one half inch by half inch hardware cloth. That makes the, the trays when I'm sliding in and out of the out, in and out of the rack, they slide much easier on the um, expanded uh, on the uh, hardware cloth, rather as compared to like two by four no climb fencing or something that tends to hang up on the bottom of the trays and tears the trays up. But if I put this um, hardware cloth in here, it makes it a lot smoother to run the trays in and out of there and drag them in and out when I need to. So I'm gonna go with the hardware cloth. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna build this main frame here, the legs and these two shelves. I'm gonna build them in the shop and I'll put the hardware cloth on it here in the shop That'll keep the weight down so I can take these two units and transport them out to the um, seed starting area uh, without the roof. And when I get out there, then I'll install the roof uh, in place uh, when I get out there. It's, these things are pretty heavy. So um, I'm building them in pieces like this and moving them is the way to go. Now, when I get out to the, um, to the area out there, when I build the the, the roof, I'm going to use two by six frame around the band of the outside of the roof, around the outside edge. I'll frame it in with a two by six and then I'll use two by four intercostal pieces inside uh, to support the, um, the top that I'm going to be putting on. And what I'm going to do on the top is I'm going to cover the top of it right here with a 40% shade cloth. And I'm going to use two by twos across the top of these two by fours. That's this piece number eight right here. And I'll space them out, you know, f four of them equally spaced. Then I'll spread the um, shade cloth on it. And then I'm going to cover the top of it with a corrugated pla clear plastic. That way I got uh, sunlight coming through, but I've reduced that sunlight by 40%. So I don't burn up these um, these delicate tender plants that are trying to get started. <clears throat> now on the front of the unit, I'm going to have another shade cloth right here that I can roll up and down, just like I do the drying tables. I'm going to have that shade cloth up here. There's another one, 40% shade cloth, and I'll have it where it's a, I can roll it up and lay it on the top and let morning sun in here. And then after the sun gets up to where it's getting a little bit too much sun on them, I can take that and lower it down and block 40% of that sun. Um, that'll keep the, the plants protected from overdosing the uh, sunlight and too much heat. 
because remember we're planting these in August here in Florida for our fall vegetables. I and uh, I don't want to you know burn them up and dry them out in this hot sun. So anyway, that's how I'm going to do it. The ends of them, the two ends are open so that I have flow through ventilation coming through the unit to keep the plants cool and gives them plenty of air. And um, then we have plenty of sunlight on the top and the all around. Um, people ask me, what about the sides? Well, you know, the rain usually comes down, you know, maybe a 20 degree angle. So it may come in just a little bit on the edges, but it's not enough to worry about where I would want to try to put plastic or something down the sides to block that little bit of rain. I would much rather have it open there so I have non-restricted airflow coming through the unit. Uh, I can get vertical airflow because of the um, hardware cloth, and then I can get transverse airflow, you know, by having these ends open. To, no no uh, airflow in there is pretty bad. We don't want that because that'll cause my um, my little seedlings to get fungus and things like that started in them and uh, mildew. So I want to um, keep that airflow as much as I possibly can. So anyway, it's a pretty big build. I'm building two of them, remember, two. So here's the, um, here is the uh, list of material, and that's for two racks. So if you're wanting to build one of these for yourself, remember, that's for two of them. And um, this is the list of material if you want to build one of these for yourself. And we'll put these um, little sketches on our Facebook page as well as the community tab on our um, YouTube channel. And you can uh, download those images, and you can build one of these for yourself for your own homestead and um, you can um, adjust it to suit whatever size you want so uh, this will give you something to work from or at least get started so speaking of getting started let's get this uh let's get this unit done i've got the parts cut out already so i don't have to spend time doing that i can jump right into assembling these these two units and getting them together and this will probably take me a few days it's a pretty big job and takes a little bit more time. It's not a one day build. So we'll get on it and um, let's get this thing started. So let's get started.
Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me while we built these outdoor seed starting uh, racks. It was a pretty good build. Uh, they got a, a nice uh, pair of them that gives me four racks in total. Um, you know, four shelves that we can start plenty of fall vegetable seeds out here and get them rolling. I got the 40% uh, shade cloth on the front of both of them where I can roll it up and down. And um, I've also got it, of course, in the overhead of the, each unit, uh, permanently affixed to the overhead inside there. So um, I think we're ready to get started on seeds for uh, fall crops. So we're looking forward to that. So if you like our channel and you like uh, watching our videos, please subscribe and be a part of our homestead family. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers, and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.